Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MetTech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a little gift package from Akko. Um, not only have they sent over a pack of their fairly, very silent, I, I want to keep calling fairly silent, their very silent um, new switches that for my limited testing they are silent and I don't know what they're doing, I haven't opened them up. They're are quite nice um, especially considering the price but you say why did they only send you one pack well because they finally sent me over I've been wanting an ACR top um, from Akko but every single time there's been one for a review I'm reviewing something else nothing is ever lined up and they asked me if I wanted to take a look at the ACR top 40 which is a staggered 40% now, if you've watched my videos before, I do have a couple of 40% boards that I've gotten to the point where I can use them just for basic chatting, um, doing some Word document, um, editing and everything. I haven't spent as much time as I would like to, but once I kind of get in the groove, I'm surprised at how easy it is to find the keys without looking, um, even though it's not staggered which is what I've been used to since I first started playing with computers. And yes, I was a student of Mavis Beacon. Um, so while I've gotten pretty good with the, these 40%, um, these are uh, ortholinear. And this is a staggered 40%. So I'm quite interested to take a look at this. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the switches and see what's going on here. So today we are taking a look at the Akko Fairy Switch. This is a silent linear that was recently released by Akko. It is made from a palm stem, a PA top and bottom housing, and a 17 millimeter spring. It has an operating force of 50 grams, plus or minus five grams, and a total travel of 3.3 millimeters with a pre-travel of 2.0 plus or minus 0.5. It is a silent linear and it it is one of the first, It the closest thing that I can compare this to is a gazoo, a boba. It doesn't have that squishiness. It has a soft downstroke and upstroke but it does not have that squish, squishiness. It, it, some of the cheaper silent switches feel mushy at the end. It almost feels organic. To me, the best way to describe it, it's like, like squishing a bug um, in between like a piece of paper or something. It's, it's like, it just it does not feel normal. This one, like the boba, does not have that that squishiness. Now, they do appear to come completely dry, but that they only exhibit the most minor of spring pain, and I doubt that's even going to reverberate, even if we put it on a steel board. Now they are five pin and they do have a window for the SMD LED. And they are actually badged north facing. So I'll have to check to see with charity keycaps if they have any um, interference. But I'm gonna guess not because I think that Akko's upgraded all of their tooling. So just like with other silence we see that we have this slotted system where these basically are butterfly rubber nodes. Now this is it's definitely a bit harder than some of the other ones I've found. Usually they're almost like a jello jelly. This one is more like a silicone rubber with some thickener added. So it's interesting to see the different ways that they're doing these silent switches. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of lubrication to one of them just to see how much difference I can get out of no paint. Yeah, once it's lubricated, and all I did was the back of the uh, leaf spring, as well as a little bit on the spring itself. It's almost completely silent. There's a little bit of um, scratch on the post, but as I keep saying, and I've noticed, I, I have this hasn't failed me yet. If I get a switch that is scratchy, if I want it to be non-scratchy right away, I stick it in my switch breaking machine. But if I'm okay with it being a little scratchy after, depending on how much I use it, after a few days or a couple of weeks, that scratchiness goes away because both the slider as well as the rail stem have gotten enough friction that they've gotten rid of those little micro, you know, bits of plastic that are either, you know, pits or, you know, little sticks coming out and they've rubbed together so they're basically formed specifically for both those pieces of plastic. So these switches uh, come in packs of 45 as um, all Akko switches do at least as far as I've been on buying Akko's. Um, one pack is retailing for $13.99 uh, for 45 switches so it comes out to roughly right around 31 32 cents a switch. So yeah, I don't think there's going to be any need to lubricate these, as I think they're going to work just fine. Alright, so I'm going to set these aside for right now. And let's take a look at the ACR Top 40. Now this is an acrylic top mount, 40% staggered layout. So it's going to give you the ability to work I mean as you can see it's it's a squished down 60% but layers are what gets you what layers are what gives you the number rows the function row I mean normally you can obviously always move stuff around based on where it is and I, I'll have to take a look at the software here I don't believe that this is a via it, so it's most likely using Aqua Cloud but they do have their own implementation of layers one of the things that I can always appreciate about Aqua products is that they actually have these QA QC cards that they're added to each of their products switches keyboards it's nice to know that somebody you know took a look and checked off that hey everything's good with this in the box and it's a well little package box we have an accessories box let's see what we've got in here all right looks like we've got some spare screws some spare gaskets an Allen wrench as well as a key switch and a key cap puller. Um, we have a nice rubberized USB A to USB C cable uh, with the nice metal tips and the guards to prevent it from fraying on the inside. And here we are with the Acer Top 40. A beautiful acrylic case. We've got um, Looks like plate mounted stabilizers that are nicely on there. Uh, feels like a, yeah, actually feels like an acrylic plate, but I think that it'd be more PC. We definitely have some bounce. We can see that there must be a dogger board in there. Huh. So, yeah, it looks like we have some gasket points, but we also have some screws holding the plate and the PCB assembly together. Um, it does look like we have IXPE foam on top of the PCB. And there does seem to be something below, but I'm not quite... Yeah, there is like a silicone rubber, but it's just down at the bottom. There's still a bit of a hollowness in there. But today we're just going to do a basic stock build and then uh, we'll come back to it and see about doing something, well, doing some mods and uh, seeing how we can make it sound. But today we're going 
for the silent build. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Akko Fairy switches. I'm going to go ahead and load it up. And here is the ACR Top 40 loaded up with the very switches. Before we uh, look for some keycaps, let's see what this looks like with the RGB on. Oh yeah, that's nice. The acrylic, not only does it, in my opinion, make keyboard sound better, but uh, with the RGB, it really does create a nice light show. Oh yeah, we can see that there is a, probably like a frosted white piece of rubber down there. But these are completely silent. All right, so we already got it programmed. All right, so um, I'm not sure what 40 set works with these, and I didn't ask for a keycap set from them. So I recently got this Hyperfuse, and usually these sets have a lot of extra keys. I don't know if I'm going to have a smaller backspace on here, but I think that I can make this work. Let me see. Oh, I guess that it that that backspace will work. Then I just need an enter. Well, and here we are, we're loaded up. We may not have a key caps for every single key, but we're close enough. The control is acting as an enter and then extra shift is acting as a tab. But other than that, the rest are good. Now, obviously the escape and the rest of the rows aren't the right uh, size. I really would need to have an XDA kit in here thinking but I don't think I have an XDA kit that would have these I'd have to end up using like the shift keys or something um, I'm honestly surprised that that the keycap set had as many keys as possible I mean not too many have a shift in this size it's a 1.25 maybe no, I guess it's a one point is it the same as this? It looks a little bit bigger. I don't know. Um, and backspace. I mean, obviously the backspace is about half a U too small, but it fits and it works. So the flex on this thing is incredible. I mean, it's just for a top mount, I wasn't expecting this much flex. It's really really nice and I gotta say this might change my 40s game because now that it's staggered it's gonna be easier for my fingers to go okay this is this this is that um, I'm gonna have to play around with the layers Cur out of curiosity though will this just go ahead and load up on via or load a all right it says it sees it nope it needs a JSON file. Yep, so checking QMK, the source is in here. It's as a top 40, um, but it has all the source. So you can go ahead and configure QMK to your heart's delight, but it does have the, um, the VIA key map. Let me see. It's using a WB32FQ95. So WB32 DFU, it's got boot magic, mouse key, extra key, NKRO, and RGB matrix. When it comes to doing 40%, having VIA and QMK, I think in my opinion is almost necessary uh, because you're gonna wanna get layers deep. I mean, especially if you need your function keys, if you're gonna you know, do a tap and use some of the keys as a, uh, you know, numpad, although in this situation, I would probably suggest just having a dedicated numpad next to you, but that's just my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I do want 
still to try the ACR Pro 68. Uh, I am becoming quite fond of acrylic. It's kind of funny that I'm doing a silent switch test on this one, but I will come back to this one. Um, I want to do it with some regular switches, and then I want to come in and mod it um, because I love how acrylic boards sound when properly tuned. Though, So the sound test on this one is going to be whisper quiet. <laughs> But, so we've got the Hyperfuse SA Double Shot. Um, I believe they're ABS keycaps. Um, yeah, they do shine. I'm pretty sure they're ABS. Um, we've got the Akko Fairy Silent switches. It's like Fairly Silent. No, they're Fairy Silent. <laughs> uh, loaded up on here. Um, I will be coming back to this keyboard. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to try out some different switches um, and do some mods and see if I can actually find a keycap set. I probably should just ask Akko uh, to give me a recommendation. Although, I'm going to guess that the white on black or black on white building building keycap set might have it. I need to get a hold of that again. I did have that for a minute and then a friend of mine, I built him a keyboard using those keys and he wanted all of the uh, keycaps I did ask to keep a couple of keycaps um, which I use here and there I can't even find one right now um, but he allowed me to keep some of the um, the novelties he didn't like uh, but I do need to get that set again because that set was pretty complete and I got I, I, I think that I think there was at least blanks if not novelties of the different sizes that I would need here but I, I'm just curious what keycap set Aka would recommend since they have their own keycap set but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of the ACR uh, top 40 with fairy silent switches I, I don't want to keep saying fairly silent no they're very silent are they fairy silent? No, they're very silent. Are they fairly silent? No, they're very silent. No, fairy. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave you with the sound test of that. I think I'm going to bring the mic a little bit closer so at least you can try to capture some of the, I don't know, noise? Because it's not really, it's just... There's just nothing there. Um... But I do hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this little preview. Like I said, I will be coming back to the ACR and giving it more uh, attention. Uh, this right now, I'm just kind of doing more so for the switches themselves. As I'm going to be splitting this video up. And I'm going to be doing the, the review of the Akko Fairy Silent switches. Um, I think they're a good option, especially at the price. Um, I am still kind of a boba gum guy, but... I'm going to do a side-by-side -side and see if I, a blind side-by-side, -side. have my wife load up some um, in one row and then some of these in another and see if I can actually tell the difference. If I can't, then I guess I'll eat my words. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the ACR Top 40 loaded up with the fairy silent switches. There, I said it right. <laughs> Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.